Hi everyone, I'm Claire Curry. I'm a science librarian here at the University of Oklahoma. Today, in video 14, in Options for Remote STEM Research, we're going to talk about some of the writing resources we have at the university libraries that can help you with your literature synthesis. First, we have a lot of books on writing, as you might expect. Usually they will at least tangentially cover synthesis, so check for your field in general terms like geology, social sciences, biology, geography, STEM, science, and go outside your field as well. So example search terms in our catalog could be writing in STEM, science writing, or biology writing. You can also check individual subject guides for subject-specific writing books. We also specifically recommend Academic Writing for Graduate Students. It's used in the STEM Writing Group that we'll talk about later. It's on reserves, so you can currently get access to it by the Sooner Express form and request pages 331 to 341, or Chapter 8, to be scanned and sent to you. When the library physically reopens, you can get it on reserves at the Bazell Circulation Desk. We also have a research guide specifically covering how to do a literature review. It's available at guides.ou.edu slash litreviews. And this can be helpful in walking you through a lot of the steps that we've talked about in the past few videos. Finally, we have a lot of in-person, whether that's on campus or virtual, depending on when you're watching this video, writing resources. We're going to start with the STEM Writing Group, facilitated by the Writing Center, and expository writing instructor Robert Scaife, and science librarian Amanda Schilling. I'll hand it over to them to talk more about this group. Hi, my name is Amanda Schilling. I'm a science librarian at OU Libraries. And I'm also an astrophysicist, so I have done re research and writing in the STEM fields. And my name is Robert Scaife. I teach in the Expository Writing Program here at OU, and I head up the Writing Enriched Curriculum. And together, we facilitate the STEM Writing Group for graduate students. Yeah, so Robert and I have been working together for a couple of years, and it's been fun to be a part of this community of science writers from a variety of disciplines. It's also been great learning from each other about writing and about science. So Amanda, you're a physicist. How's it been taking the role of a writing teacher uh, working with these graduate students from a variety of disciplines? Yeah, it's been really interesting seeing the common experience that a lot of us go through um, when we first start writing um, in a technical way or writing these scientific documents. So it's been really great guiding students to a point where they feel comfortable and are able to communicate their research with others through their writing. Um, and I've also learned a lot um, from my own writing, from working with Robert and from working with the groups of students that we work with. Um, so Robert, you don't come from a science background. How have you found it working with these unfamiliar and often technical genres? Yeah, it, I think it's been great. You know, one of the things I've discovered is that being an outsider to the conventions of these science genres and science writing uh, is actually helpful sometimes. I'm really good. I'm the guy in the group who says, explain it to me like I'm five, you know? And um, a lot of times that's what people need to do, even for themselves, you know, at the early stages of a writing project. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of fun playing that role. Um, at the same time, uh, we usually are able to find some common ground in research writing, whether it's in history, which is my discipline, or, or in biomedical engineering. You know, there are ways of framing problems, explaining evidence, connecting the dots that all readers need. Um, and so that's also, I think, you know, my role in this group. Great. Okay, so that's us. We think we've developed a pretty good community of science writers helping each other. We do this by setting deadlines, reading and commenting on each other's work, and occasionally reading a chapter from a writing handbook. So if this sounds like something that would be helpful to you um, in something that you're writing, um, you can sign up for our writing group by going to the Writing Center's website, and we'll have another group, we'll be organizing another group in the fall. That sounds fantastic, Amanda and Robert. Thank you so much. In the next video, video 15, we'll hear more about the OU Writing Center and also about the Center for Faculty Excellence and their writing resources. We're going to have a live question and answer session for these videos on June 23rd from 3 to 3.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'll be joined by science librarian Amanda Schilling and expository writing instructor Robert Scaife. Registration is required to receive the Zoom link. You can register at libraries.ou.edu events and look for the June 23rd event. 
More videos in this series, as well as announcements about other live events and workshops, are available on Twitter, as well as on the Davis Listserv, available for subscription at libraries.ou.edu slash davis. You can view past videos in this series at bit.ly slash oustemyt. Please contact me if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for joining us, and stay safe out there!